big news in the science community. Scientists, they're one step closer to understanding how the universe is built. It all comes down to one key particle. Here to tell us all about what it is is Gautam Naik. He's our science expert in our London Bureau. Hi there, Gautam. Tell us all about the Higgs boson. Well, it's a big announcement expected from CERN in Geneva, Switzerland tomorrow morning. And uh, the world is expecting that they're going to announce that they have really zeroed in on the Higgs boson, a very elusive and all-important particle. Uh, the reason it's important is because scientists have never really figured out what gives our planets and the sun and various other bodies in the universe, as well as you and me, its mass. And if they can pinpoint where this particle Higgs boson is hiding, if they can determine its mass, then they would have answered the question of why mass exists in the entire universe. Why mass, why we exist. I mean, how do you go about pinpointing a particle like this, uh, Gautam? I mean, what kind of equipment does it take? And tell us, walk us through a little bit of the science. Right, so the particle is extremely small. You cannot actually observe it directly. You have to get an indirect measurement. So what they do is they take a bunch of other particles, speed them to near light speed, and then send it through the Large Hadron Collider, which is a particle collider uh, out in Switzerland, and they smash particles together. That yields a whole bunch of other subatomic particles. And by studying the signature of those particles, you can tell whether you found an anomaly, if you found something that actually the theory predicts, which would be the Higgs boson. It's a very long, cumbersome, and technically difficult thing to do, but a big machine is needed to find some of the smallest things in the universe. Now, Gautam, I know that scientists are often reticent to uh, tout huge discoveries like this until they're fairly sure they've got it right. Some, this big announcement is supposed to come tomorrow, Wednesday. How confident do they seem talking to you about this? Well, what you have to do is, because you can't see the Higgs boson directly, you have to try and narrow the range of what its mass might be. They released some data in December, which created a big splash, where they had really narrowed it down through two independent experiments. Then yesterday, um, scientists in the U.S. announced that they had come with a similar result, obviously a completely different approach, a different experiment. And now tomorrow, they've got twice the data they had in December in Geneva. And so we think that they're going to announce that they have, with relatively strong statistical significance found where the, bo big, uh, the boson, the Higgs boson, is hiding. What are the ramifications of this going forward? I mean, if they do pinpoint this discovery, what is the next step in the science community? I mean, obviously, some people even hail this as, as the God particle. Yes, I, I do hate that phrase because it has absolutely nothing to do with uh, anything mystical or beyond this universe. But if they do figure out what the mass of the Higgs boson is and they pinpoint it and even claim a discovery sooner or later, then the standard model of physics, which is the way all physicists understand or most physicists understand how the universe works today, that would have been deemed to be correct. And that would you know, a lot of people would breathe a huge sigh of relief. If on the other hand, they cannot prove that the Higgs boson exists, then either they have to go back to the drawing board and look, start looking for it again, or, and some scientists are really thrilled about this, they're going to have to rewrite the entire rules of how the universe works. And a lot of people actually would probably prefer for that result to occur. Interesting. All right, Gautam Naik, our science expert, he is in London.